Hello, today I'm going to walk you through using VirtualBox, which is a virtualization software, um, and install Ubuntu Linux on it. Uh, what this does is to allow you to have two uh, separate or more than two um, separate operating systems running on the same machine without having uh, or without requiring you to reboot your machine. There's also dual boot uh, where you can, where at the time the machine starts up, you can choose whether to go into one of many OSs. Um, this, on the other hand, is almost as an OS in an OS. So this virtualization software basically uh, opens up to this OS uh, all the machine or most of the machine hardware as you choose. Um, so that it works like an independent operating system. The first thing you need to do is go to virtualbox.org slash wiki slash downloads and you can choose the um, uh, the particular version of the VirtualBox software for your operating system, whether it's Windows or OS, uh, OS X, uh, with a Mac or Solaris or Linux. I myself am on OS X right now, so I've installed, I've downloaded uh, the VirtualBox software. Uh, let me just pick that up. Um, what I need to do uh, also at the same time um, is to download the Ubuntu software. So go to ubuntu.com, you go to download on the side, you choose desktop and it will bring you to this page from which you can choose the latest version of Ubuntu which is Ubuntu.13.04. Choose the flavor of the machine, that, of flavor of the operating system that you want. Um, you must understand that this is not emulation software. VirtualBox does not emulate uh, other OSs it instead opens up the existing uh, operating system, uh, sorry, existing uh, machine hardware to the new operating system. So if your machine is a 64-bit machine, uh, all the operating systems that run on it also will have to be 64-bit. Now mine is a 64-bit machine, um, which, uh, um, and therefore I choose the 64-bit version. And you click, go on to this, uh, go through whatever process required, agreeing to uh, the agreements that you need you might have to do and I've got the OS version also downloaded as a single ISO file which is a, um, an operating system image file. Um, we go ahead next and we install the VirtualBox software. Let's open the uh, DMG, the disk image file and that will um, allow me to install it uh, on the operating system itself. Now, uh, this this uh, process is going to be fairly similar on whether you use Windows or Linux, uh, Ubuntu that is, uh, or any of the other ones that have got you know user interfaces like this, and it should be fairly similar. So you choose the location where you want to install it, and just continue with. Uh, most of the regular options, but if you've got specific areas or locations that you want to put it at, you want to do that. Enter your, it require your password, let me enter that in. And this is going to take a little time. Um, I'll come back to you soon as uh, when there's in solo. In fact, my mission is quite fast actually. So that is done. Uh, let's now go into the applications folder and open up uh, VirtualBox and here you can create a new operating system just click on new um, you can choose what you want to name it Ubuntu 1304 is what I'm going to uh, name it so that I can remember it later on uh, it's type and it's kind of detected as Linux and Ubuntu um, but of course you can choose from this list if, you've, if the guess has not been very good by VirtualBox itself. To continue, you have to set the amount of memory that you want your machine to use. I'm going to keep it as um, about 4 GB. Um, let me just keep it 4 GB. My machine has fairly good configuration. It's got 16 GB of memory, so I'm going to put a considerably, considerably good amount of RAM for the virtual machine itself. So uh, here's how this works. The virtual machine allocate certain parts of the um, hardware that you have, say in terms of memory um, or it could be in terms of, um, you know, even speed, it's going to occupy a part of your CPU. So you're basically sharing all the resources between these two operating systems and what, when this is running, it takes up some of the existing hardware. 
so it's asking me to create a virtual hard drive now uh, assuming that your machine is running just bare bones on the operating system you know your operating system resides on the um, hard disk now what the virtualization virtualization software here does is to also create a virtual hard disk and the machine that comes up the this like a picture in picture like so that that OS within the OS it assumes that it's got an independent hard drive now that is what you're setting over here you're creating a virtual hard drive so you just say you want to create a new uh, hard drive if you're doing it for the first time um, there are different versions of it that you can choose choose the virtual box, virtual box disk image itself unless you already know some other virtual uh, disk image type that you need to uh, choose in this I'm just going to make it dynamically allocated uh, so that it expands the size of the uh, hard disk will continue to expand as we um, as it needs to uh, that's what it's called. Let's find out where it's going to be installed. It is going to be, it says applications right now. I don't think I want it there. I'm going to move it to, um, I'm going to create um, something in my, in my root folder itself. Let me just expand it out. Let me create a new folder in um, VirtualBox VMs. It's called Ubuntu 304. Um, and this is where the hard disk itself will be created too. So, yep, that's where I'd like it within VirtualBox VMs Ubuntu 13.04. Let's just um, create it there. And let me see. Um, create virtual hard drive. Save as. Just call it Ubuntu 13.04 again. That's fine. Um, it's going to save it in that part. That's where I want it. It's going to start up with an 8 GB default. I can afford that with my machine right now. I say create and uh, you've got the basic settings done. Now the next thing you need to do is to um, add to the storage the uh, what do you call it? the uh, operating system file and in which case it is the add CD device over here. Um, let's choose a disk. All virtual ISO files. Now I've got mine on desktop already. The ISO file. I'll choose that and say open. And now what this does is to create uh, an IDE uh, or create a, a CD that has got our operating system installable file on it so let's click OK on that and what it's going to do is when it starts it's going to start off the Ubuntu um, CD which will allow us to install uh, Ubuntu on to this particular uh, virtual machine so having done that we've created the basic um, uh, virtualization the OS itself the virtual OS and added to the storage a CD that contains the image of the operating system now when we click start, what it's going to do is uh, to walk you through some of the options that you have and then come up with the um, Ubuntu operating system itself which we can then install. So uh, let's just allow that to work through. It's running, Ubuntu is just starting up. Now remember this is starting off the CD itself um, and what the way Ubuntu works is uh, when you start off the CD it gives you the option to then install it. Uh, from there. So let's do all of that. Let's walk through the steps. Oh, the screen seems to have gone a little bigger than the recording area, but then you'll still be able to see most of it. Okay, it's starting up and now it's asking us whether we want to install it. We say yes. Um, instead of doing try Ubuntu, let's go install Ubuntu because anyway it's on our uh, virtual OS. Install Ubuntu. Um, it's okay with all the existing options. Um, do you want to install updates uh, while installing? I say yes. Install third party, yes, one. Let's install that also. Continue. That, by the way, was the some of the um, decoders and coders that you might need. Uh, this computer, it has no OS. Now, remember, the OS, uh, the hard disk that you're working with is not the Mac OS or the Windows um, OS in which uh, this virtual OS is running, uh, but the 
uh, virtual hard disk that you've created now that's is empty right now there's nothing on it and it's saying hey you know what we found an empty uh, hard disk uh, do you want to erase it entirely and install Ubuntu so this is okay right now to go say install now because again I just uh, repeating this that this is not the main hard disk that here but it's a virtual hard disk that is sitting within um, your actual hard disk so let's install now it's going to occupy the entire hard disk space to do that um, in this case it's 8 GB so just clearing up the hard disk and uh, it will walk you through the process of um, installation then uh, you can choose the kind of keyboard you want minus uh, has an English keyboard layout um, I'm going to use a similar virtual box name a similar user ID now for the virtual box what I'm going to say is VJ since that's my username I'm just going to call it Ubuntu 1304 1304 uh, that should be okay please so that I don't uh, because it's a virtual OS I'm going to be testing on it I don't want to log into it each time I start up now having given all that information the process of installation will um, now start and then continue okay um, we are here now where the installation is complete um, it asks you to restart again uh, you're restarting this virtual machine and not the entire OS itself so let's just go do restart now and the machine will take itself down and then bring itself back up again and then we'll be ready to start using Ubuntu. For some reason this seems to have kind of hung itself um, I don't know exactly why but it should have completely shut down right now. What I'm going to do is close it I'm going to switch off the machine and say uh, power off the machine and I will start it again from the virtual box manager. Let me do that do OK um, let's go back in there and then let's say start you probably want to read through those comments over there so that you know um, what it is uh, got for you okay as you can see right now it started off with Ubuntu desktop and uh, you are pretty much ready to go so there you are you can open your files you can open uh, a terminal from the window let's go to terminal you can type commands in there seems to be running a little slow on machine right now should be better soon um, let's go ls that looks real cool so um, there you have it so you've right now I've got my Apple operating system and then you can also see that within that I've got um, a machine that is running the Ubuntu operating system um, Ubuntu 13.04 is what I've called it there's one other thing that you can do um, is to install guest editions now this depends on the particular operating system that uh, the virtual OS is running on um, and therefore you do it after the installation is complete so here what you need to do is to go to the virtual box um, system menu go to devices and then say install guest edition uh, which brings up this dialog say run you will have to give the password for your um, Ubuntu operating system here now the admin password that you set uh, when you created this user the default user and then it will start doing the installation of the VirtualBox guest editions now uh, with this there are a couple of cool things you can do like putting the screen in, um, in full screen mode and it looks like the entire thing is running on one um, or only Ubuntu is running at this point um, you can see that now this is done you can press return and close the window and uh, guest editions is now installed there you go we've got our operating system installed now and uh, you are ready to use it um, I'll be doing a, a few more videos and tutorials uh, which should be interesting for you. Um, do subscribe and I hope to see you soon again. Thank you very much.